Anne's almost sort of my boss. She is here. No, right <laughs> okay. Kind of sort of. Ready. So right. I'm not on camera, but you will be. So do your best to kind of reincorporate the question into your answer. Like oh, yeah, I say, sure. what's your name? Mm. You're like, so my name Chris. is. Oh no, I thought you said my. Oh, okay. Okay. And yours. Got okay, it. Stacy, we're rolling. All right. <coughs> Considering that both of you have had very successful standalone films based on your characters, how is it to work in more of an ensemble experience this time? Well, you know, having um, shot our own individual films as these characters uh, and then walking onto the set, you know, in this sort of ensemble, it was nice to have shot yours first because you uh, you don't feel you have to come in and kind of give your backstory or a big explanation of who your character is. It's always already been established. And then, um, you know, you land on set and you, you're allowed to share the workload with the group instead of having to carry it on your shoulders, which is a, a nice relief. Do you have anything to say about that? No, it's very well said. Very well said. Fantastic. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, nailed it. Um, Couldn't have done it better. And now, but I'll seven, try. <laughs> your character, Captain America, is connected to a past that sort of not, no longer exists. Did that make it a little harder to fit in with the other characters? Uh, well, I think uh, given the fact that his, his, his understanding of the world has expired, I, I think it's actually what brings him together to this group. I think everyone is from somewhere else. You know, Bruce Banner is running and hiding and then you know Thor is from another world altogether. I think everyone feels uh, a little bit like a fish out of water and, and I think uh, you said this earlier and it's great I can't believe you haven't repeated it since you <laughs> said no one really knows where to belong but yet for some reason we all kind of belong together. Uh, it, it's, it's like a kind of a band of misfit toys that, that, that just kind of work as a team. All right. And speaking of um, misfits let's talk about your brother in the film Loki who's sort of destroying the world, how, um, as a character, was <coughs> it to portray that conflict, being loyal to the Avengers, but also having a certain amount of loyalty to your brother, Loki? Mm. Um, I mean, Thor's motivation through the film was, you know, all, all had began because it was his brother, Loki, in there causing the chaos. So it's a much more, um, I think, personal journey for him than it is for the other Avengers, who don't really have a, an attachment to this villain. He's just, he's the enemy. Um, so that's where you know the conflict with Thor and Loki begin, but also with Thor and the rest of the Avengers. It's um, he wants to, you know, they're, they're they're pretty keen to just take Loki's head off, whereas Thor would rather, you know, <laughs> talk to him about it or you know try and talk him down and, and take him back. And then, did you feel Joss was very collaborative? Were you able to contribute work with him? I know that he tries to use reputation of really working with people to get a sense of what they want and they need to develop the characters. What was your experience? Um, yeah, I mean, there wasn't really the time, uh, you know, there was, mu there, was, there, was no be there was no great amount of rehearsals or, or read-through, or if any. It was all very, we, Chris came off his film the day before. I'd come off the Thor press tour two days before that. And so we kind of arrived and we hit the ground running and, and thankfully we had a great script to work with. And mm -hmm. yeah, sh through the process, Joss was open to, um, uh, you know, the collaboration and what have you, but the truth is the script was where it needed to be and, and we just had to turn up and do our bit. Awesome. Thanks very much. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you. Sure.